Let's get some hometown insight into what uh, Vegas voters are really thinking. Colton Lockheed is Nevada political reporter for the Las Vegas Review Journal, and Michelle Rindels is a Nevada based political reporter for the Associated Press. Thanks for being here. Michelle, first to you. Issues here. We heard a little bit from voters there, but what's driving the conversation here in Nevada overall? I think it's really the economy here. We're, uh, we're one of the hardest hit during the recession, of course. Um, skyrocketing unemployment. There's been a lot of signs that that's come down, that uh, in fact a couple weeks ago we surpassed all, we regained all the jobs that we had lost. But there's certain industries that are still really hurting. Construction has not rebounded. There's a lot of people out of work and having to travel out of state. So there's still a lot of instability. Wages are still a big issue. Yeah, so the Colton, the uh, presidential candidates are spending a lot of time here. This is a big battleground swing state. You agree the economy, economy kind of driving the day? Yeah, the economy is uh, one of the bigger talking points right now for both candidates. Uh, here for Nevadans, we, like she mentioned, we were one of the hardest hit uh, in the recession. Our housing market, I think, was one of the, it's still, I don't think it's still quite where it hasn't hit. Uh, where it was pre-2006, uh, where you see other states like uh, Colorado where it's surpassed that. Um, I think uh, the economy and I think immigration is a big issue here. Uh, we have one of the highest per capita um, Latino, uh, uh, Latino populations. And so on either side, that's a big talking point. Yeah, it's, it's very emotional. Um, let's talk about the Senate race, and it's, it's very tight here in the Senate race. Uh, Catherine Cortez uh, Mastro, the Democrat up against the Republican Joe Hack. Remember, this is Senator Reid's seat, uh, and the, it's 40 percent to 35 percent in the 8 News Now poll. Uh, the average is a little tighter than that, uh, with Heck leading a couple of polls. Michelle, I mean, wh what is this race looking like? Very tight. It's really going to depend on, on how many voters turn out. Um, Heck had been leading for, for a long time, but just by a small margin. Um, but now uh, he's unendorsed Trump. There's just more turmoil in that campaign. Is that causing him a problem, or is it kind of, how does that play here? I think it's, uh, it's yet to be determined. There's polls on either side. Some show it's a wash. The Republican ones show it's, it's not really a net loss for him. Democrat commission polls show that it is a net loss for him. So I think it'll be a matter of, you know, over the next couple of days and weeks, are people still angry? Um, you saw him booing when he, un or people were booing him when he unendorsed mm -hmm. uh, Trump. Is that going to wear off? Are people going to, in the end, uh, go with him anyway? Yeah. Uh, Colton, you know, Las Vegas knows Donald Trump. He's got a building here. He's, he's been here. Um, how does that play in that Senate race particularly? I think, uh, like Michelle mentioned, the, uh, the unendorsement, we haven't seen how it's going to play out, um, but that is something that, that his opponent, Cortez Masto, is really kind of harping on right now. What other issue besides Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and their appeal is driving that Senate race? I think jobs, especially, and uh, women's rights, uh, I think is something that uh, the Cortez master has really uh, attacked him on, is his stance on Planned Parenthood and a few other um, issues to, kind of relating to women's rights. Okay, last thing, as you look to the debate on Wednesday, one would think it's going to be fiery. Uh, what are you all looking for from kind of a Nevada perspective? I think it'll be interesting to see... Um, how he addresses immigration again. That's always um, a, a big point for people here. And you can guess. I mean, he's not going to back off. Something tells me. Probably. But who knows? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be, I think, um, hearing maybe some more policy uh, from the candidates, maybe if we can possibly get away from some of the uh, controversies that have kind of surrounded them. I think people in Nevada, we have a large percentage of undecided voters. It's, I think they want to hear some of the stances, um, especially when it relates to jobs and immigration. If there's anybody that can do it, Chris Wallace can, can do it, can keep the train on the tracks, but we'll see. Uh, Michelle Colton, thank you very much.